Hello. Hi, my name is Christian Seliger. My name is Robert Beschloff. The Drive software of our Synamics converters offers extensive functions and allows maximum flexibility. And today, we'll be talking about the different motor operating modes. Which variants are actually supported by Synamics drives? Basically, there are two ways of operating motors on converters. UF control and closed-loop control. The latter is available from Siemens in vector and servo control versions. UF controls operate in the open loop and, unlike closed loop controls, do not evaluate feedback from the drive device. What are the general areas of application for UF control? The control is easy to commission and only a few parameters need to be set. It's suitable mainly for operating induction motors and is used for simple applications such as pumps, fans, and belt drives with low requirements in terms of accuracy and dynamic response. It's also relatively easy to operate several motors on one converter. A lot of extension functions for UF control are integrated into our Synamics converters which also help to improve the quality of the motor control system. Can you give us some examples of these functions? Yes, one such extension function is used, for example, for a conveyor belt operated in UF mode and on which a load is placed. Normally, this would result in a reduction in speed. The slip compensation function, however, keeps the speed of the conveyor belt constant even if the load changes. Another improvement is the further development of the UF control to what we call FCC control, flux current control. This is used to compensate for changing loads. Here is a practical example. If bags of different weights are being loaded onto a baggage handling system, FCC helps to keep the conveyor speed constant despite these load changes. The eco mode function enables you to save a lot of energy. For example, if a fan is operated constantly at one speed, this function lowers the output voltage to optimize efficiency. This can mean energy savings of up to 40%. These and other functions are included in the standard drive control and can be easily parameterized. The many different UF control optimizations already cover a wide range in drive technology. What about other applications, such as continuous goods conveyors, extruders, rock grinding mills, or crane drives? Is UF control also used for those? These applications normally use vector control with a closed control loop. Vector control is also used for pump and fan applications with higher precision requirements. The drive data for vector control is determined by guided commissioning steps and taught in automatically. This means that the closed-loop controls are also easy to parameterize. Vector control is the optimum form of control for all applications where speed, torque, or position must be controlled with high precision. But what are the benefits in practice? First of all, stability, even under extreme load and set-point changes. Second, the motor can be accelerated and decelerated with the maximum adjustable torque. Third, the motor and mechanical systems are protected by adjustable torque limits. Fourth, drive and braking torque are controlled independently of the speed. And fifth, full breakaway torque is possible, even from standstill. Christian, what's the secret behind vector control that makes these benefits possible? Vector control uses a very precise motor model. This means the behavior of the motor is very well known, reducing the workload for the actual controller. This results in the best possible dynamic response. The main focus of vector control is on torque precision and efficiency. It also delivers excellent results without encoders. But what exactly does an closed loop controls without encoders look like? In this mode, position or speed information is calculated via the current and voltage values in the converter. Vector control supports all common motor designs, such as induction motors, permanent magnet synchronous motors, as well as synchronous reluctance motors. 
Now, apart from vector control, there's also servo control. What are its distinguishing features and what is it used for? Compared to vector control, which is optimized more for stability and accuracy of speed, servo control is optimized for maximum dynamic response, high positioning accuracy, and a higher output frequency. It's therefore used for highly dynamic applications, such as machine tools or production machinery, for positioning axes, pick-and-place applications, and for motor test benches. What are the specific features of servo control? Servo control offers, firstly, a lower computational load, which means that, for example, more axes can be calculated in the multi-axis system of the Synamics S120, six in servo compared to three in vector mode. Secondly, the shortest possible response times. For instance, the Synamics S210 servo drive in combination with the Simodix 1FK2 motor can accelerate to 6,000 RPM in just 3 milliseconds. Thirdly, maximum dynamic response in the case of complex kinematics, for example, for pick-and-place applications. And fourthly, maximum output frequencies are possible. For example, in applications such as high-speed spindles or multipole torque motors. Apart from the familiar motor designs you mentioned, torque motors and linear motors are also operated with servo control. Regardless of the motor or application, the Synamics portfolio offers you the best possible control so that you can operate your drives as efficiently as possible. In this video, we have explained to you the differences between the open-loop UF control and the two closed-loop controls Vector and Servo. To sum up, this graphic shows what control mode is used for which converter and for what purpose.